What is up everyone? Welcome to another October daily video where I'm doing 31 days of Halloween drawing. Today I'm going to be drawing a ghost. This one could get pretty creepy, so we should probably get started. Alright, so let's get started. Grab my Apple Pencil here. Um, like before I did my sketch beforehand to try to save a little bit of time, I want to make these videos as not short as possible, but I kind of want them to be within you know, 20 to 30 minutes top. So did the sketches beforehand, just to save a little time. Um, but if you wanna see those sketches or, or, or even have those sketches, uh, my any of my patron members actually get the sketches for, well, not for free. Um, ooh, excuse me. Ooh. Um, if you're part of my Patreon uh, crew, you actually get all of the sketches for this all together. Oh, I am struggling to talk today. Um, but you don't get just the sketches as part of my Patreon. You can get a lot of different things. Um, anyone who's $5 and up on my Patreon actually get the full res 500 pixel by or 5,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels of these drawings uh, as well for downloads. Um, I'm using my own um, brush set here too. That's something that comes for free if you're part of my Patreon as well. Um, if you're not though, you can actually get these brushes that I've made on Gumroad. I will leave a link for all that stuff down below. Uh, but yeah, so I'm starting off with the sketch line, or I'm going with the, um, with my lines, I'm actually going with a slight bluish green color, um, instead of black for this, because he's a ghost. Um, this is actually one of the drawings I've been most excited about doing. It turned out, when I did the sketch, this sketch literally made me laugh so hard just because it was so cute um but yeah um i always love doing anything halloween uh if you've watched any of my other videos i've already talked about how i love halloween anything spooky but i also love making spooky things kind of cute it's fun um and that's what this guy is right here he is just cute horror and that gets me every time. Ooh. I follow the eye a little better. This big droopy eyelid kind of thing going on here. I think it's fun. So this is my version of doing Inktober, I have always wanted to do Inktober stuff for you guys and just Inktober in general, but I don't, the prompts for Inktober always kind of bored me, I guess. Um, so I thought, why not make my own list of my favorite horror things and draw them for all of you guys. So here we are so far. Um, if you're just coming in, you haven't watched any of the other videos that I've done so far for this month of 31 videos in October, I'll have a list up on the screen right here showing which ones we've completed so far. If you haven't seen one of those, uh, go check it out. I'm going to have the playlist popping up right on the corner there for you. So after you're done watching this video, uh, you can go and watch that one or those ones, whichever ones you want to watch. Alright, so I think the boo I'm actually going to do in black. One thing I have never been good at is doing anything lettering. I don't know why. You would think as an artist I would have decent control when it comes to making lettering, but I just don't. I don't know why I got the handwriting of a three-year-old even when I am trying. There, got that. 
Now this is honestly probably going to be one of the shortest videos because there's really not going to be a whole lot that has to go into this. Already got the sketch lines or the final line work done on this. Um, and we're going to go in now and do one of my favorite parts and start adding a little more color. Uh, you're going to go to your line work uh, layer here, click on it, go to reference. That's going to make it so when we drop colors in, we are um, staying within the borders of everything. So let's go with this light. Ah! Am I on the right layer? Okay. I must have just missed a... Somewhere my lines aren't connected great. There we go. And then you can slide back and forth to kind of adjust how strong this is being dropped in. Yeah, honestly, this is probably going to be one of my favorite drawings this month. It's just so cute, I guess, is probably just the best way to put it. Um, ooh. I think I might make... So, what you can do if you want to change the line color, so you're, I'm going to go back up to the line that I made here. We're going to actually do an alpha lock. That's going to make it so it only selects anything that's been drawn on that page so far. I'm going to go in here, grab my filler brush, and I can just paint. Ooh, that brush is way too big right now. So I'm painting into... There we go. And turn that into a dark purple. This is coming along very quickly and very adorably. Um, let's see. What else do I need? Okay, I can turn Alpha Lock off now. So we're gonna do some shadows. I wonder how this purple actually looks as a shadow. Yeah, that'll work as a good shadow. Okay, so we made our new layer. What we're gonna do a clipping mask, it's going to clip it to the color layer that we've done already. We're going to go in and start adding some shadows. Now, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go too overboard with the shadows on this guy because he's a ghost. He's, you know, transparent, so he's not going to have a lot of shadows, realistically. If you were to think, if he's a ghost, why would he be having so many shadows on him? But I want to add a little depth to it. So, um, but what I'm going to do is once I get the shadows dropped in here, I'm going to end it with a Gaussian blur just to kind of um, smooth it all out a bit. They don't need to be super thick lines for, or super harsh lines for a ghost, so... Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to make this as live as possible, but I know there's some dead time of me not saying anything, so during those times, I, I am going to be fast-forwarding, just save you guys some torture of just sitting in silence with maybe some music playing or something, but I don't know. Some of this stuff, like I said, I want to give as many tips as I can on how I'm doing everything in here. But, at the same time, I don't want to bore you guys when I'm not doing anything. Oops. Okay, so, free selection tool. A lot of times when I'm doing bigger sections like this, uh, if you watched any of the other videos so far this month, uh, you'll see that I do this quite often when I have big sections like this. It saves me a little bit of time, except for when I am rushing too much and I make an extra line somewhere. But, other than that... This is my go-to method for doing big sections like this. Well, I am noticing that i got a couple spots that the fill didn't get to. So what I can do 
Let's go back to this. Um, find my color and just brush those in myself because I want this to look as clean as I can. Um, sorry if I lost some footage again. I don't know what is up with my camera. Um, I don't know if I lost anything there or not, but just adding shadows. So I know I got a good chunk of the shadows in on the video. So hopefully I didn't cut too much out of that. It likes to um, freeze on me and then it says there's a sensor error and then it stops recording. Um, sometimes it'll do it 25 minutes into a video. Sometimes it'll do it five minutes into recording. So I know at some point I'm probably going to need to get a new camera, but as of right now, this is what I got. So bear with me if I lost any footage there. All right, so we're gonna drop that opacity. go and then oh, let's see I'm not gonna do the Gaussian blur just yet just in case there's anything else I want to see I'm gonna make one more layer here and this is gonna be for our highlights and I'm not gonna do a crap ton of highlights either there's some um, little specular circular highlights throughout Give it a little life doesn't need that much like i said he's a ghost so i don't want to go crazy with highlights and shadows compared to some of my other drawings i've done um pumpkin especially i know i did a lot on there I forgot shadows down here. I need a little bit on these hands. Okay. Almost done. The highlights. Uh, I do need to go back in to the shadow section here. Some vinyl highlights or shadows, I guess these are technically shadows, not highlights. And if you guys noticed, I was wearing my happy Halloween y shirt at the beginning of the video. I'm gonna have a link for that as well in the description. Uh, if it's something you want to pick up for the Halloween season, it's representing my little wiener dog, Leia. So it makes it even more awesome that way. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm actually loving the shirts. They're really comfy. The sweater is very comfy as well. Um, so if you want to go pick up one of those for yourself, like I said, that's going to be in the description down below as well. So I don't think I want to add any more shadows or highlights anywhere. So I'm going to make sure we're on our layers. So I'm going to start with the shadows. I'm going to go up to here to the adjustments layer. Go to Gaussian Blur, Layer. And then you can drag back and forth however much you want to do. I'm not going to go crazy with it, just enough to give it, oops, a nice little shine. You might need to touch up the edges a little bit. Sometimes it kind of pulls away. See, right up here. So. I'm gonna go around and do that off camera. Um, give it a little bit of a um, touch up. These I want actually solid though. Ah, why are you being weird? All right. So we're gonna do the same thing. With these highlights going there. Gaussian blur layer. Give these a little bit of a, oh, I'm still on. There we go. Gaussian blur, layer. Okay, now I'm on the right one. 
All right, so the final section that I like to do is go up here. And go up and try to add any lines that we might want to add to this guy. I'm not gonna really be adding too much more. Just a couple of these. Pencil line marks underneath the eyes. Make him look even more tired than he actually is, or than he already looks. Kind of like a Tim Burton-y kind of thing to the uh, image there. So he doesn't need a bunch of extra lines. I like sometimes making these little like leading lines to kind of make your eye follow something when you're in a certain area. And do I need any more of those? I don't think I really need any more of those. Uh, I need to do, go up here. I'm going to add one more layer. Black, I kind of like to do just this little black background thing just to kind of break everything up a little bit. And then that down all right there it is the finished ghost i think this one is one of my favorite he is so cute but make sure you subscribe so you can see all the other videos of the october 31 days of spooky drawings i'm absolutely loving doing this stuff so if you guys are liking it make sure you leave a like down below but remember like always keep drawing and until next time bye